classic? Atomic Drill, Apocalypse, Scavenger, or Survival? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know there was different types of play. Um, let's go to Atomic Drill. That dude, look, look at that porn stash right there. Hey, baby. I want to rub your chin right here. Mmm, yeah, Sergeant. Rub that chin. What are you talking about? Learn all about how to scavenge and survive in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. Well, we, we got so many Canadians in here. Let's read it Canadian style. Learn all about the scavenging to survive in the event of a nuclear apocalypse. This tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. Begin adventure. Okay. Gas mask. Bad smell? Toxic fog? Just put on a gas mask and then we're going to close it before you can read the rest. But at least you know to put on a gas mask. Oh. Welcome to your atomic scavenger drill. Pay attention and you just might make it. Okay. Hold the grab control and skip my words, but every time you do, the reds will t drop an extra nuke. <laughs> no time to waste. Get moving and head to the marked point in front of you. Move it. There's no more. Oh, this over here. Move to the yellow. Okay. Oh, I see it. There's the X. Yellow X. Dude, he's freaking pudgy. Cool job. There might be hope for you. Yeah, let's get those legs moving. This looks cool. I can, I'm moving it with my mouse. One more time, you know the drill marker. Go to your room, go, go, go. Oh, I just knocked into my table. That would hurt. You ever do that when you're running through a room and you're just bashing your side against the table and it fucking hurts? You want to punch the wall, but then it's going to hurt more? Time, Fun time's over. It's a matter of life and death now. Find your son, Timmy! ASAP! Okay, Timmy. Oh, 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 stupid chair, get out of my way, chair. Timmy! Timmy! Why are you Timmy? Oh, no, that's not, you're, you're not Timmy. Hey, how you doing, baby? You want to make another Timmy? Okay, no, 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 stay focused. Oh, stupid guitar. Timmy! Timmy! Is there a well? Did Timmy fall down the well again? Timmy? There he is. Hey, Timmy, are you Timmy? Good thing you know the layout of your house. I bet you the Reds know it, too. Finally, finally! Family comes first. Grab Timmy. He will be the first to visit your cozy shelter. Oh, I just snatched him. Okay, consider taking the other family members too. I'll leave the exact priorities to you. <laughs> consider them. I don't have to bring them. I can leave them. Find the highlighted suit. No, there's a family member. I can't take her. Oh, they want me to grab a soup can. Let's go to the kitchen then. Dude, there's all this shit's in my way. Oh, this one over here. No, grab it. Soup is an excellent choice. This can sustain a, Stanley, a family of four for a day. So a family of two for two days, right? Hmm. Find a bottle and grab it. There's a highlighted bottle. The bathroom? We got water in the bathroom. Drink out of the toilet. Mmm. Delicious, delicious toilet water. Oh, here it is. Yoink. Hey, that's enough. That's enough water for now! But you've got yourself a problem, Buster! <laughs> you can only carry so much! An even item weighs one slot! You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you can pick up more! Oh, that's what you gotta do. Okay. I get it. So you grab stuff, and then the hatch is over here, and then you drop shit in here. There we go. Bingo, you got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even little Timmy. Okay, cool. Now what? Find a radio. No one knows how long you'll be staying here, so you'll need a radio. Where the fuck is a radio at? Stupid chair. Who wants a pink chair anyway? Get out of here, stupid. Oh, there's a radio. Yoink. Nothing more useful than news from the radioactive world. Okay. Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings. But after it goes off, you need to start packing. Collect five items and drop them into the shelter in time, okay? Our incredibly advanced warning system gives you 60 seconds to scavenge what you need and get yourself to safety. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's start in here, since it's the farthest from the shelter. Go. Okay. An axe? No 
No room. Okay, so I got everything I can hold. Here we go. Better grab the wife. No? The wife didn't want to go. She said, fuck you. I guess I'm just grabbing items. Okay, the suitcase took up three slots, apparently. Alright, let's grab stuff. That's five items. I got five. I can keep going? Okay. Right, get to the shelter. Get to the chopper. Woo! Okay. Now you know what is need to survive, but your training is far from over. Okay. I'll see you downstairs for the survival training. At ease. All right. Yeah. I guess I found the tutorial. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Water, essence of life, basis of survival. An atomic adventure awaits you. Day one. Oh, so it's me and Timmy, and then the stuff that I grabbed. I don't know if I want to do the tutorial, I want to just play the game. You made it to shelter, congratulations, but the drill's not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You'll need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants when your survival journal is not opened yet or hidden. First things first, we must eat, we must ration food and water. If you don't wine and dine yourself and the folks you've brought with you, you can't, you can bet your bottom dollar of all you'll ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to a given person by selecting the picture or a can or bottle under their portrait or instantly ration out both by clicking the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food, the longer you deny your people rations, the weaker they all get, and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it'll take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. Now something... I know, I left the daughter and the mom out there. Fuck them. They'll be alright. They can fend for themselves. They got boobs. They can find another shelter that's got room. <laughs> Uh, now, what I know about this game is it's random, and every time you play, it's different than the time before. So that's that's good news. Okay, time to ration. <laughs> they scratched out the pictures. They don't exist. No mother, no daughter. Just me and Timmy. Okay. So that's me and Timmy for day one. Since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation can drive... A ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow, nighty nights. See the fly down here? Fuck that fly, dude. I bought a ch uh, checker set, so I'm not going to get bored. See, checkers. Soup. Gun. Water, food, gas mask. I would have brought more shit if I would have known that they are going to put me down here. I got all kinds of weapons. Don't don't come at me, bro. Need to be a razor. Good morning, survivalist. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy enough? No? Well, better get used to it since you'll be staying down here for a while. We'll start today's activities with the rationing since you need to do it every day. But after that, we'll move to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen. There's a risk that you'll run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but your food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you'll be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. Corn dog, kill your friends. Sometimes you'll need to <laughs> send people to the surface to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful though, tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today we'll skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. There isn't much going with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Timmy, guess who's going outside, buddy? <laughs> That's right. We only got one soup can left, so you better get your ass out there and provide. <laughs> Send people out into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask, then it can be a suicide mission for them. 
Send healthy and well-fed people. Sicker or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. See, now we actually want the wife and daughter so we can send them out there. <laughs> Here, honey, take this axe and this gas mask and don't come back till you got food. Uh, you can only send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time you'll need someone send someone out. But if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. All right, Timmy's going. See you, babe. Get out there, buddy. See you, baby. It didn't let me give him a gas mask, so I, I think he went without the gas mask. Cause look, it's still hanging on the wall. Fuck. This is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a while. But in the event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple of days. In the mean Yeah, good, so I can ration without having to feed them. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that will test you to your limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of men's moral spine. We'll see what clay you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Ted is not complaining today. At least not very much. Yeah, right? Why not give him water every fourth day? Seriously. If they can go four days, I don't need to fucking give him water every day and waste all my rations. See, I'm not going to give him anything. Let's see what happens. I'm an army man, so I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use yours right now. Picture the scenario. You come across your kid's hamster, who in some bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it, and so will you. <laughs> I'm alone with a hamster. What am I going to do? Where can I shove it? <laughs> There's nothing better than food that comes on you. It's on your own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? Oh, so I have to decide. It's my kid's hamster, and they want me to decide whether I want to eat, cook it and turn it into food so I get more food, or if I want to make it a pet. <laughs> That's a tough choice. Hamster burgers! <laughs> yes! Hamster burgers! Delicious. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get fucked with the lights. What was the point of bringing the suitcase? <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's do what's next. Day four. Good choice. Everyone had a bite, which is just the dude. Fresh meat will not be easy to come by in the days ahead. Best to take any chance you can get to eat. Believe me, you'll find yourself and your family in much more dire circumstances than this, and there won't be a hamster around to save your ass. Ted is fine. See, I didn't give Ted any food or water, and he's fine. Let's see, he can go another day. Let's see, make him two days. You might be faced with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might find that you don't have the one item that you were supposed to save that day. So make sure you scavenge the right supplies before the blast. Keep in mind, every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle, listen to the radio, or maybe play Shadow Bunnies with your flashlight? I have all three of those items. Um... Clean the rifle, baby. If it accidentally goes off, I don't have to worry about the apocalypse. Oh, Timmy made it back! What's up, Timmy? You made it, baby! How you doing? Oh, you're looking, you're looking pretty bad. He's hungry, sick, hurt, and tired. Damn. Hey, hey listen, Timmy. Um, you look fine. Why don't you just go, go ahead, go, go back upstairs for a little bit. Just go ahead. Go, go, crawl back out the fucking door. I don't want your sickness now. Ugh, he looks horrible. He's got like an orange afro with it's parted in the middle. Good thinking. Keeping your weapons in working order is number one priority. Remember, even if they do get damaged, you might be able to repair them with some good old-fashioned American engineering, though. That means niggering. And maybe some chewing gum and a shoelace. Good news, everyone. The expedition is back. Sometimes they'll return with extra supplies. Sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time, your explorer was hurt, but they'll recover after proper use of a first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland safe and is safe with us now. Before our expedition could get anywhere, we ran into a group of freaky people dressed like wizards. They were eager to trade some of their supplies <laughs> for a few items that sounded like a fair deal, so we invited them in. They were really ecstatic about purchasing an old pair of socks, which had been lying in the corner for some 